In this extra video, I'll briefly touch on automatic license plate recognition systems. They're usually called ALPR for short, and outside the United States, they're often dubbed automatic number plate recognition, or ANPR. These are all terms for the same type of system. There are many uses for automatic detection of license plates, from measuring traffic, to billing for toll roads, to checking for parking permits. There are especially a lot of uses for these systems in law enforcement. Officers can use ALPR to detect vehicles of interest, such as those that are stolen, or are owned by a person who's wanted for arrest, or are violating a traffic ordinance. Police departments also use ALPR to build a location history for vehicles, which they can subsequently use in investigations. The basic design is that police cruisers are equipped with special cameras and image processing equipment. They record the license plates from surrounding vehicles. A computer in the police car is connected to a license plate database, and it provides officers with immediate feedback. A number of businesses sell ALPR solutions to law enforcement. This image is a system overview from 3M. I'd like to highlight two features. First, these cameras aren't always on police cars. They can be mounted on poles, or trailers, or just about any place else. Second, some ALPR solutions are connected to major law enforcement databases, including at regional, state, and national levels. There are several trends that I'd like to highlight for ALPR systems. Their deployment is through the roof. According to a recent survey of US police departments, about three quarters already have at least one installation. Agencies have reported millions of license plate recordings per year. The data generated by ALPR systems is retained for lengthy periods. Some agencies keep it for years, and some even keep it indefinitely. Last, there are few restrictions on how this data is used. ALPR systems are generally regulated only by a department's internal policies. It's easy to see why these practices have been controversial. ALPR systems are, functionally, a rough form of mass location tracking. ALPR data isn't as consistent as cell phone location data or GPS tracker data, but it's along the same lines. And note that the overwhelming majority of license plates are not associated with a vehicle of interest. Some estimates put the ALPR hit rate at well below 1%. Moreover, most of those few hits are for minor vehicle registration issues. The punchline is that lots and lots of innocent drivers have their location routinely collected and stored. I'd like to highlight a few particularly high-profile issues associated with ALPR systems. First, it appears that the federal government is maintaining some national databases of license plate location data. The DEA operates its own ALPR systems, and it accepts data from state and local agencies. Another issue is how these systems have been deployed in sensitive contexts. They've been used to monitor public protests, and they've also been used outside of religious centers. The New York Police Department, in particular, took some flack for monitoring mosques. The last issue I'd like to emphasize is how ALPR systems are becoming privatized. At least one major provider of these systems sends out its own cars and maintains its own database with billions of license plate locations. As a practical matter, moving these systems into the private sector facilitates information sharing and reduces the role of government oversight. Let me close with a brief sketch of the legal status of these systems. The Supreme Court has consistently confirmed that police observations from a public vantage point are not protected by the Fourth Amendment. In fact, going all the way back to Katz, the court held that what a person knowingly exposes to the public is not a subject of Fourth Amendment protection. In formal doctrinal terms, the rationale is that there is no reasonable expectation of privacy in your car's license plate on a public road. Recording the license plate, therefore, isn't a Fourth Amendment search. If you're thinking this sounds a lot like the public movements doctrine, 
you're right on. It's essentially the same reasoning. A few states and municipalities have stepped in to regulate ALPR systems, I should note. But for the most part, for now, these systems are up to police departments.